some young broke dude. Found this image that could have been taken at genuinely any high school in America. We used to fuck like rabbits in these classrooms after school. <laughs> Incredibly ugly bird. Me pirate has been nominated thrice for best looking parrot in the world. Seriously, look it up. Terrific parrot, honestly. It can recite Shakespeare on command via thought. No verbal words required. Also, I don't have to buy treats for it either, like this loser bird. Cherish every moment and make something of yourself. We only get one shot at it. Don't be just another brick in the wall. My first wife ran off to Florida with her boyfriend and left me with three kids. Sorry I don't have a nail story, this is the best I could do. I masturbated before bed last night and messed up my neck, it hurts. I've gotten like an hour of sleep. Might I suggest fingering your vagina next time or turning your vibe to a lower setting if your carotid artery is really the only way of getting you off? Had some fun with baby, then she passed out for nap with those glowy nice post-orgasm multiple chemicals, and she mumbled blankie, so I tucked her in with her blankie and her stuffy eye potter, that's a Dr. Seuss elephant. Her favorite animal is an elephant, a snuffleupagus I think it's called. <sighs> when you hold the power button on your PC, it's like chloroforming your best friend. Social media is a slaughterhouse in the echo chambers. They were handing these out to people touring NASA, and I have been staring at it for the last 20 minutes trying to decide if it's funny or just plain sad. Not flat. We checked. Wish they could say that about my girlfriend! Or she knew that he would teach her because of her. Much, much better now. No, no need to thank me. <laughs> you can upvote me if you want. I'm very proficient in English and love to help out newcomers to our great language. This man recorded me without the at. Cancel this man. If a TikTok can be posted from space, he can text you back. Dude literally flexed space. I'm in 10th grade and all my grades right now are 96 to 99 percent. <laughs> my courses, APCS, AP Calc, BC, World Literature, Social Studies, French 3, and Physics Honors. Great service. While I tried on some sunglasses, I felt a little hungry. Just here to put an opinion nobody asked for. Men shouldn't wear pattern boxers. <laughs> I am high and drunk. I can't speak to my girlfriend properly. I don't care. Please say something. Please? Cringe. POV, your 12 years old swimsuit is dripping wet and you're cold as fuck. And you don't remember what floor your room is on. When I was 12 years old, I had depression and childhood trauma. Try a different age. It is a great picture of an incredibly cute subject. Thank you for sharing, friend. I don't own dogs, <laughs> but when I hook up with girls, they are 100% sub and obedient, and should they say anything along those lines, they will be adequately punished until they're whimpering messes with exhausted clitorises. Police just called and told me my mother died. I'm not gonna be here for a while. Nobody asked. You just disrespectful, bro. Dang, did I ask though? You ain't funny, kid. Go watch some cartoons or something. I hope you never lose your mother. Pros, I must say, this is a surprisingly good quality exercise bike for the price. I have sat on poorer quality ones in gyms. My favorite feature is its sturdiness and how quiet it is to use. I have wooden flooring in my apartment and miserable neighbors beneath me. There's almost no sound when pedaling, so that is one less thing to irritate them over. The saddle is very big and comfy, and there's a drinks holder which fits a bottle of wine in if you want a drunk cycle. Speaking of which, I once saw Colin Farrell drinking a bottle of Carlsberg whilst running on the treadmill in a gym in Miami. Ah, good times. The Walking Dead star Chandler Wiggs hospitalized. Wow, who cares? I've been to the hospital too. Beautiful, but oh my god, you kind of look like this pediatrician who was just murdered yesterday. So that story about the adopted girl is actually something that a lot of interracial adoptions go through. I've even heard my friends talk about how they're lighter skinned than their parents and would constantly have to prove that they belong to their parents. The video Dar made is a little stupid though because the school would already know that the daughter is in an interracial home. It's usually something that gets discussed pretty early on in the enrollment process in order to keep stuff like this from happening. His video also could have focused on the mental toll accusations like this have on the child. This video is just bad. 
Okay, but don't let this distract you from the fact that religion is fake and false hope. There is no life after death and they're all cults who want to scam you. All gods are fake and if you're religious, you are wasting your time with a false idea and there's no evidence that says otherwise. So just accept the fact that you are wrong. I hate religion and all religious institutions need to be abolished and Israel and Palestine need to be abolished too. Same goes for all states that are fundamental religions and all religious people executed for irreversibly fucking up society. Nowadays, it is hard to find a friend to really lean on. You should lean on Christ! He laid down his life that you might live eternally! Believe in him alone! Man is bound to fail in you, but not Jehovah God and his Christ! Call upon him to save you from your sins and baptize you with the Holy Spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ! I completely missed that one with Cowboy. I was doing a lot of cocaine working on the road in January of last year. He may have fought the night I fucked a prostitute in Queens after railing a bunch of lines. I don't know. I must be blind because I can't see anything. Am I the only one who doesn't see shit? They tried circumcising me, but my foreskin only grew back stronger. Since then, I have been getting circumcised every six months. My foreskin is now stronger than steel. Whenever I am in danger, I pull it over my body like an outer shell. It is fully bulletproof, fireproof, waterproof, and extremely lightweight. I have plans to sell it as a highly rare, highly resistant material and make millions. Bridges will be made out of beams of foreskin, and police units will wear foreskin vests. I will be living in my foreskin house and bathe in my wealth. I am foreskin man. Follow me to join my master plan. Quiznos pepper sauce request in top secret recipes. Ex-Quiznos worker, the sauces all came pre-made, but the carbonara sauce was a bacon alfredo sauce, just really thick. Should be able to make something close. Ex-Quiznos worker as well. Showed up drunk my first day, missed my third day because had a Xanax field threesome the night before. Thought I'd share. Best job of my life. She's 17, act like she's 10 and she's in love. I'm 25 and I've never been kissed or even asked out on a date. Yep, that's about right. No one asked for you to explain your lonely and dramatic romantic life. He is trash, but let's not put our emotions into this. It'll only make things worse, or so my therapist says when I tell her I told my mom to piss off. Long story, y'all! Low 12 is when you first see her. Low 24 when you get to know her. No, that's how I felt about Nami. It was the exact opposite of Robin. She actually possessed qualities most Japanese audiences wouldn't find traditionally attractive in women. She's taller than the men, darker skinned, older, over 16 is old by Japanese standards, mature, introverted, calm, not innocent, distant, and isn't the center of attention, with a larger and more defined note. But I'd go nuts for her because of the way she talks, moves, and acts, which is so much sexier than any other woman in one piece. The Adventures of Crow and Doggo, two unlikely friends from different sides of the tracks. Managed to crack a bone of a guy four times bigger than me. We literally just went to the extent of cutting a hole in one of our blankets so that I can fall asleep at night and sleep with his dick in my mouth. <laughs> if we shared a blanket and I did it, it'd be all under the blanket and I didn't want to be so we cut a hole in it. And he'll cover up with it and stick his dick out the hole and then I'll be able to sleep halfway down the bed with it in my mouth and use a different blanket for me. <laughs> and before you make fun, you should really try sleeping with your significant other's dick in your mouth. It's soothing like a pacifier for adults. <laughs> Man, I fucking can't with your posts. <laughs> it's times like this I wish the Titanic sunk with my great-grandparents on it so they would have died, which would have prevented me from being born, so I wouldn't have to view this content. Has anyone else here seen how raw sugar is shipped? No fucking thanks. Give me that refined bleached white sugar, please. Raw sugar is fucking gross, like really disgusting. Like, unloaded from cargo holds with clam bucket excavators and pushed into piles by skid steers and stored outside at port under tarps with bird shit on them and rats fucking everywhere fucking gross. Never eat raw sugar. 10% dead rat content, I swear. 5% diesel and hydraulic oil leak and 15% bird shit. 19 things women wish they didn't have to explain to men about sex. 
I'm one of the few guys, if any, that values money over sex. I'm 35, but in my early 20s, I was mid-session in the foreplay area with a girl I met. I had gotten a text about a side job offering $400. Don't know if she climaxed that night as I had driven her home, but my climax happened when four Ben Franklins were dropped into my hand for 30 mins worth of junk removal. <laughs> Bart is the second smartest Simpson behind Lisa. As a smart person, 170 IQ, could drive a minivan at three years old, but not academically. Myself, I relate a lot to him. <laughs>